welcome to the introduction to NumPy. Now, if you already know what NumPy is and you've already decided you're going to use it, you can skip this video because we're just going to talk about the reasons you would want to learn how to use NumPy. Now, the downside to using NumPy is it's tricky to learn. It's hard to get used to, especially if you're used to Python, where Python encourages you to do everything in loops, and with NumPy you pretty much never use loops for anything, and if you're using a loop, you're doing it wrong, which is counterintuitive for Python users. Now, I'm using Blender because Blender is great. It lets you visualize what your math is doing very quickly inside of 3D space, and also because a lot of people who want to learn NumPy, especially people who have found my channel, are probably wanting to learn it so that they can uh, use it inside of Blender. Now if you don't have Blender, there's lots of tutorials for how to download Blender, how to run it, and how to set it up so that you can start scripting. Um, and I'm skipping over all of that because this tutorial is not meant to focus on that. And we're actually not getting to the tutorial yet, we're just talking about relevance of topic, why you would want to use NumPy. So just to show you how much faster NumPy does calculations, um, and I'll talk about how the code ends up being a lot cleaner later, or I won't because I might forget, but for now I'm going to show you that NumPy is vastly more um, quick when it comes to doing calculations on big sets of data. So we're going to start by just adding a UV sphere that ended up somewhere in space that I don't know about and we're going to subdivide the ever-living crap out of it so that we have oh, I don't know, 122,000 some vertices. Okay, so I know it doesn't look different but it's actually got a lot of data. Alright, so we're going to do our big data crunching in two ways. Um, and don't worry about this code, we'll talk about how I did it all later. For now, we have, we're allocating the memory to a NumPy array then we're doing math on it, and then we're writing it back to the mesh, and so this is all stuff that's happening inside of NumPy. So you can see it takes a little bit more to set up, and then this is doing the same thing inside of a Python loop. And we have my uh, we have the system console over here, so you can see what happens. So what I'm doing is I'm taking every vertex in this thing, all 123,000 and I'm adding a 3D vector to the location of each one individually um, except for zero and uh, it's a minor detail. Um, anyway, I'm adding that vector to a hundred and some thousand vertices and I'm timing it. So when I do this, this UV sphere is going to get moved twice, once by NumPy and once by the Python loop. And over here I have a readout that tells me how long it took each method. So doing it in NumPy took 0 0.011 seconds. Doing it in a loop took 0.3 seconds. So in this case with 123,000 something verts, NumPy was 29 times faster. Now that's just doing a very, very simple, we're going to add a 3D vector to the location of all of these 3D vectors. Just doing it in NumPy was 29 times faster, and this is just one of many operations that you can do with NumPy. With NumPy, you can do logic. For example, you can do collision detection with NumPy. You can do sorting with NumPy. You can do just about everything that you can think of that you would need to do in code, you can do it with NumPy. So, for example, I have actually created an entire cloth engine. Now, you, you may have heard about this cloth engine from the Blender conferences, you may actually be interested in NumPy because of hearing about this cloth engine from the Blender conferences, because this cloth engine is running entirely in Python, which you would not think you could do, but you can because of NumPy. So I'm going to show you that we're actually getting really good performance out of NumPy. Um, NumPy will do certain things faster than C++ will do, depending on how you do it in C++. There's actually libraries in C++ that are comparable to NumPy that are very fast also. Um, but this is actually my cloth engine that I'm working on, and you can interact with it in real time. And you can see that it's actually pretty nice. It's not lagging, and it's all running in Python. 
So there you have it. Um, I've got some other videos that I may or may not show where I'm doing collision detection with soft bodies. It's all done inside of NumPy. Um, this actually has self collisions, which I can enable, can enable, and it's all done inside of NumPy. Um, if you're interested in this cloth engine, uh, I don't know, post a comment in the video, and I will send you a link to the GitHub site. It's actually it's the 3D Advantage um, on GitHub. Uh, slash modeling cloth if you want to go and track that down and um, the source code is there but for now um, this should give you an idea of what you can do in NumPy and uh, in the next video we'll get started so peace out everybody